In this video, we will see the igniters. These are basically step-up transformers. It would take 115 volts and step it up to about 10,000 volts. Very high voltage, but the current will be extremely low. But a technician still needs to take precautions because this high voltage can become dangerous. These are the electrodes. These will be connected to a bar which connect to the electrodes and the rods inside of the burner assembly. The newer type of electronic uh, emissions will be this type. Most systems will have this type and it's very efficient and it takes up a lot less energy to operate it. So most common uh, oil furnace that is manufactured today would have this type of um, electron, electronic type of ignition module. Other type of components you may find in the field is the safety controls. This control here is what we call a stack control. This is the control module that controls everything part of the uh, oil furnace. It will run the burners, it will control the blower, it will receive power from the thermostat to turn the system on and, and turn it off. But it's also a safety control to prove that there's a flame to eliminate oil flow if the flames do not start up within a certain amount of time. The way this type of control is by sensing the temperature in the stack. This will be mounted inside of the plantum to sense the heat from the oil burner and once it senses the right temperature it will engage to continue the burners in normal operation. If for some reason there was no flame, it will cycle off and it will disengage the system. And it will trip an overload switch, which is manually resettable, and so a technician would need to come out to press this button to restart the system up. But before, of course, he does that, he must find out why it cycled off.